for me, the most exciting thing is around communicating data specifically. So thinking about the ways that we can communicate around that uh, and the ways that we create data-driven narratives, uh, arguments, advocacy strategies um, that are inclusive because too often, especially when we're communicating with data, uh, we can end up excluding people because for so many reasons, um, so many reasons having to do with uh, accessibility. So we're, we're thinking about data visualizations that are only visual, for example, might exclude people who are not sighted people, right? Um, and so folks are developing all sorts of creative strategies to do data sonification, for example, or tactile data. Um, so, you know, thinking about inclusive Communication with data to me means opening up a whole range of possibilities uh, for how we can uh, welcome people into evidence-based arguments that are systematic um, and paint a picture of a phenomenon at a structural scale. I hope the audience takes away from the symposium the fact that communication practices are still central even when we're talking about data and data science. For me, actually, data and communications are quite married together um, because everything with data has to do with how you communicate it and uh, who you bring in to your data-driven arguments and how you make those arguments.